Yeah, Every country got ghettos, but even in the USA, you will get some. Oh. You know, when I decide to make a video which is non edited, which means there's a serious problem. So let me just get straight to it. There's a video that um, a particular content creator, I think he's an American, and he normally makes travel videos based on uh, traveling, talking, and sharing his thoughts on experiences that he gets at different countries. So, I mean, I've been following his journey for a while and I haven't actually paid attention to the type of content that he normally creates because I feel like um, as a content creator, you need to focus on yourself more than focusing on other creators. But since he's in Ghana, he, uh, he recently touched down in Ghana to create content on how Ghana is. And it, it, it bothers me, like there's a whole lot of bullshit that is going on. There's a whole lot of rubbish that the guy is creating that it really hurts me. Let me explain. I mean, there is a whole lot of ideas and a uh, niche that you can get yourself to. But this guy called Nick, his name is Nick and um, the name of the channel, I mean, his channel name is called Indigo Traveler. There's something crazy. I mean, he stepped down in Ghana and obviously when you get to Ghana as a solo traveler, there will definitely be someone who has to tour you around and guide you through on the country and certain things. I personally do not have any problem with this guy, but I feel like the way this guy creates content can be bullshit sometimes. It seems like the main focus of this guy is whenever he goes into a particular country, his main focus is to talk something bad about countries. I mean, Ghana is big, bro. We have different parts in Ghana, a whole lot of places in Ghana. You do not just go to places and then just showcase the bad side of Ghana. And that's the problem I have. And it's not like I say I'm, I'm talking because he's doing the same thing that I do and I mean that's not even, it's even like out yellow. of the equation. Nigga, shut the fuck up, man. And the funny thing is, there's even a Ghana man behind this whole thing. Like, Bronya Bakrum saw a video. Oh, black man. Instead of you to guide a guy on like where to go and the nicest place to visit and give him the best out experience as a tour guide, you are busy taking him to like the shitty places and it, it doesn't make sense. Like, how much is this like, on to you? How much is he even gonna pay you? Because even in his videos, you can see that this guy does not even give people who are in need of. Like, Charlie, we cry and can Wadmaya cry better? Because if Wadmaya sees that situation, he addresses it nicely and still feed them. But this guy does not even give them anything. You see, it's a Wakoro be them. Now, we'll show me them for videos. Bro, this shit doesn't make sense. It's high time Ghanaians get sense, man. Charlie, the person who has a video now wants me feedback. My wife friends are come, come here. Right here. And all the, you use all this. Wow. Is this your lunch? Yeah, this is my lunch. Hi, sir. What is your shop here? Oh. Uh, I repair, so somebody will bring like a blender and you yeah. repair it? And it sucks because when someone is outside you may think so oh, Ghana dear we yeah, so ball and you cry. Really but you are not even going anywhere yet. The last time he did a video he was in a uh, in Accra as a Jamestown uh, right Afro now. Cape Coast. Yeah. Right, well Jimmy Ruff. Why is all the course like serious? Okay, like a crash, crash, or more. Or more, she sees the dime, like people from villages, you know. Or the camera, and I come with them. That the same way, yeah, then with them, or oh, Charlie. I saw Bronnie, Bronnie Swabin. Ah, Bronnie Swabin. Like the Western Ukrainian image, you cry. Oh. Or could be them la. Every country got ghettos, but even in the USA you will get such. Oh. I don't know why he's doing this to get attention or to get I don't know. I am aware such videos will give you, I mean, higher engagement and all that likes and views when you portray such about Ghana. But you also need to understand that, I mean, such places are well common in every country, bro. Even in the USA, you get such places. So I'm, I'm quite disappointed with the type of content this guy portrayed, man. Bro, I've been to Ghana a couple of months now and it's not all I did. So that nigga must really chill. I'm gonna end this here. Let me know what your thoughts are and I'll catch you in the next one.